Hi everybody, it's Danny, and today I have for you a haul. It's a bunch of stuff. Like I have some stuff from eBay. I have some nail polish I bought. Um, I got some. I got a bunch of stuff. Okay. First off, I'm gonna show you some nail polishes that I didn't actually buy. Um, if you guys remember, about a week or so ago, I did a haul, a nail polish haul, um, where I showed like nine nail polishes that I bought from um, Polish Your Dreams, which is an, a small indie brand that I buy from occasionally, and I mentioned in the video that I thought I had bought more. And I, I was like, like, I think I bought more, so I contacted her, um, and I asked her, I was like, is there any way you can look at my, um, like, order, um, because I thought I bought more nail polish, and she did, and it turns out I was right that she had, um, forgotten to give me two nail polishes, so she sent those, and she is so awesome, she sent them, like, super quickly, concerning, you know, she has to make them, and, um, I ordered minis, but she sent me full size, which I thought was amazing, and first she sent me, this is one of the ones I was missing, it's kind of like a mauve pink, and it's called Felony Melanie, and it's, um, uh, kind of inspired by the movie Sweet Home Alabama, which I actually really like, and this is a thermal, if I can get it to go, Basically, it goes from like this kind of deeper thermal, and then when it gets hot, it turns lighter. I can't really, can't really tell, and I'd have to sit here and press on it and get it all nice and warm. But it turns like, like a lighter pink. So I can't wait to try this out, and there will be a demo like I did with my um, Linderella thermals. So she did that one, and then the other one I was missing was this glitter, which is gorgeous, and it's called Spring Towards Summer, and it's actually scented smells kind of like strawberries. I think that's what it was. I can't remember what it said it was supposed to smell like. Um, but I, it smells like strawberries. It smells good. It, this one, the scent is a little bit stronger than the other scented polishes I've bought from her. Um, which is why I liked her scented polishes because they, the scent wasn't super strong. So this one's a little bit stronger, but it's super pretty. And I have to like wear it on my fingers and like let you guys know like if the smell, it gives me a headache. And then on top of making the mini polishes I ordered full size, she also sent me a, a mini duo. Um, these are minis, and she sent these to me for free, and this was just a little duo set. And this one is called The Dark Knight versus The Man of Steel. And it is just, it's pretty textured, but it's like a black, and it has like gold kind of holographic uh, sh glitters in it. So that's really nice. And then she also sent me this one, which is more of a glitter topper, which is called The Man of Steel versus The Dark Knight. And this one is, again, a glitter topper, and it has, like, blue and red um, glitters of various sizes and also, like, a gold, like, um shimmer. So I thought that was really super awesome that not only did she upgrade the two that I was missing to full size, but she also sent me a free duo. So that's amazing. She went above and beyond, you know, making it right. And honestly, I would have just been happy if she would have just sent me like just the polishes I ordered in mini sizes, you know? Um, the next thing is also a nail polish and I bought this secondhand from a girl I know, um, this spoiler alert because this is if you ordered the monthly the mystery monthly polishes from Enchanted and you haven't got them yet um, this is February and this year all the mystery monthlies are going to come in this like teal box that's super pretty or maybe it's more Tiffany blue I don't know and this is the polish look how gorgeous it's a blurple with like a like bluish green shim um, shimmer look at that all of her mysteries, all her monthly mysteries this year are going to be shimmers. But I do still want to get January and March um, 
but February was my favorite and I'm really glad I was able to get it. And then the girl I bought that off being bought off the the girl I bought that polish from being the awesome person she is also included this enchanted polish sticker. You can't really tell but like up here, well you can a little bit. It's the logo. The it's basically what's on the front of the bottle and it's white. I know she makes white ones and I know she makes black ones. The white one is super nice. I'd like to get a black one too. I wish I had somewhere I could put this to where I knew it wouldn't get all messed up. And she also included two Manny Bombs. And this one is like a powder. Like I don't know if this used to be something and it just got like smashed all to hell or if it came like that. But this one is apple cinnamon. It smells very much like apple pie. So that'll be nice. I can't wait to use that. And then she sent another one that this one is actually a cube. So that makes me wonder if this one just got smushed. And this one is in the scent Lemonade Stand. This one, it has a slight lemon scent, but it just smells really fresh. And these are really cool stuff like this, they're called Manny Bombs, and they're just like bath bombs, but they're smaller, and you just dip your hands in them, and you can also, I guess you could also use them for your feet, if you really wanted to. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise, so I paused for a minute, but anyway, um, on with the haul, that's all I got from that, and then everything else is from eBay, and first thing I bought was a thousand of these. I have three bags and that you got a thousand these are just really tiny little like flat back glass things they're like little they're domed on one side and what I'm doing like a crafty thing with these what I'm doing with these is I'm painting them with various different colors of nail polish and then gluing them onto a canvas to make like a wall hanging and this is the one I'm doing right now. This is all I have done of it. And it's just all different colors of purple. Like this is all like the purple nail polishes I have just painted on these little things and glued on to this canvas. I'm also going to make a blue one, a pink one, and a green one. So I thought these would be really cool. And I could like hang them up like on my wall. And when I'm finished, I will definitely show you guys the finished products. And I will, when I hang them up, I will show you guys like where I hung them and how I hang them. And so I don't know if I'm going to do it this way or if I'm going to do it this way or how I'm going to do it. So that's really, I think, really neat. And it's just something to kind of pass the time. And how this started was I bought a set of 200 of these because I make magnets out of them from nail polishes that I really like. And I bought the wrong size and these were too small. So I was like, well, I'll just do this, and then I had to, I have to buy like 6,000 more to do the canvases I want to do. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I don't care. A thousand of these only cost like 10 bucks. Or no, it cost, I'm sorry, 20 bucks. So, and I already had the canvases and the glue and the nail polish, so each of these canvases only cost me about $20 to make, which ain't that bad. So, I love it. And then I have this which is actually my son's birthday present. His birthday is in June, and I bought him a Nintendo 3DS. I got this on eBay, and I spent, I think, $60 on this, and I got the 3DS, and I got a charger, which is really all I wanted, all I needed from it, and that is awesome. And I'm also going to get my other son one of those two for his birthday, but his birthday's not till December, so I'm going to wait a couple months before I buy that. And then I also, having bought that, went a little crazy, and, start, and because I know I'm going to get my other son a Nintendo 3DS for his birthday as well, I went ahead and I started Christmas shopping already. It's April, and I've bought them each a couple games. This is for my oldest son. It is called Combat of Giants and it's dinosaurs and it's for the Nintendo 3DS. And there's the game. 
And this is the price tag on it, but that's not what I paid for it. I bought this off eBay. They got theirs at GameStop, but I bought this at eBay, on eBay. And I spent, I think, $7 for this one. Um, I got this one also for my oldest son. And this one is actually sealed, still in its wrapping. And I paid, I think, $4 for this. This is Cut the Rope. These are all Nintendo 3DS games. And I might get them each a couple more. Um, the only reason I bought these so um, early, because these are Christmas presents, is because I found them at such good prices. For my youngest son, I got him Epic Mickey. And this was like $8. And then I also bought my youngest son Angry Birds Star Wars, because he loves Angry Birds. And he loves Star Wars. And I think I only paid like 5 bucks for this one. And I got them all on eBay. And with the exception of the very first one I showed, they're all still sealed. So that is everything from my haul. Um, again, if you're looking for games and systems and stuff like that, seriously check out eBay first. Because you usually have people who are selling them for fairly cheap. Because um, that's how I got my 3DS and that's how I got my husband his 3DS as well. That's how I got my young, my oldest son's 3DS as I just showed you and that's also how I'm going to get my youngest son's 3DS. Um, and then again the games because all four of those games with shipping cost me like $36. Um, that's pretty pretty good you know. So can, especially considering a lot of times um, games like that brand new cost at, like, cost at least 30 and then places like GameStop, sometimes you can get them for cheap too, but, you know, it, eBay is a really great pay place to look for stuff like that. Um, um, be on the lookout for reviews on the nail polishes, like, me showing it to you, and then also be on the lookout for, like, little reviews on the Manny Bombs. And, yeah, that's all I have for everyone right now, and I will talk to you later, and hope everyone has a great day, and, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye!